Welcome to crude oils. We're going to be covering more in the, to the crude oil characterizations. Now that we know what is the importance of crude oil in our refinery, it's very important, especially for you, the process engineer, to understand why several crude oils are convenient for us and which ones are not convenient. We're going to see important physical properties such as density or API gravity. We're going to see sulfur content, why sulfur is not that valuable. Actually, it's we need to spend money in order to remove it and why do we do so? We're going to see typical contents such as paraffins, olefins, naphthenes, asphaltines, aromatics. Why do we need to know about that? Uh, certain cuts are recommended for certain type of fuels and if you're looking for instance to produce petrochemicals you will want a crude oil rich in olefins. If you want to produce asphalt, which I'm pretty Sure, it not, that's not the goal overall. You can search for a crude oil, which is very cheap, but has a lot of asphalt in it. Then after knowing all the typical crude oil compositions, physical properties, and chemical properties as well, we're going to continue with the characterizations of crude oils. How do we do so? If we have several crude oils, it's kind of hard to compare directly, and we're going to come to several techniques, for instance, the already stated API gravity, sulfur contents. Then we continue with the cuts. What are the typical cuts in the crude oil you're stating? We're going to see, of course, also the TBP, which is true boiling point technique. You're going to see how we produce this curve. And then we see a little bit more onto other techniques, which will allow you to understand or compare between two crude oils, which one is better for you, which one is going to have more off gases, which one is going to have higher viscosity, which one is going to have higher octane rating depending on your crude oil. And finally, we check out the market, some crude oils, typically West Texas Intermediate, the Brent mixture, Arabic, Dubai, uh, Mexican mixes, whatever type of mix, and I will encourage you to check out your mixes in your local country, if you are in a country which produces oil, try to compare them with the market, why are they so cheap and why are they so expensive. You will see a correlation on typically density, sulfur versus price.